In this video, I want to compare the top two PMF systems worldwide, the IMRS 2000 and the Beamer Classic and Beamer Pro. And before I begin, I just want to say that, first of all, I've used both systems and had experience with both, and even dissected both and looked inside. They are the two leading PMF device units uh, available here in the United States. They have the best research, by far the most testimonials. These are the two brands I think you should be looking at when it comes to PMF therapy. I really don't think there's even a close third. But when you look at the two side by side and when you look at the numbers, the IMRS has a definite advantage over the Beamer. And I just want to go over the top 10 reasons why I think the IMRS is slightly better than the Beamer overall for just giving you the best possible results for you and your family. And let's just get right into it. So the first reason is the IMRS has four frequency settings. The Beamer only has two. The nice thing about the IMRS frequencies, which gets into point number two with the built-in biorhythm clock, is that you're getting the right frequency for the time of day. So in the morning, you're getting a primary pulse train that's around 15 hertz, and that's a beta frequency. So that's a nice energizing frequency that'll get you energized and up and running, kind of like a energetic cup of coffee in the morning. And at night, you get the theta delta frequencies, which are the best for sleeping, having a really deep delta sleep, which of course, during deep sleep, that's when healing and rejuvenation really takes place. Um, getting deep sleep, most people know, is important. And the IMRS has a definite advantage because it's using 0.5 and 3 hertz close to bedtime, where Beamer is using 10 hertz. And in the morning, you know, the regular Beamer setting is 33 hertz, which is a little high in my opinion, and I think can be a little irritating. The 10 hertz at night with Beamer is just a little high also. That's about alpha. Again, you want to be down to uh, theta delta. So point number three is that the IMRS has a better range of intensities, meaning it goes down lower for, sens for chemically sensitive and electrosensitive people, or for people that are really sick, we found sometimes we have to use the sensitive setting. And we go down to 0 0.09 microtesla on the lowest setting. Beamer only goes to 3.5 microtesla. That's as far down as it'll go. That's just a little high for sensitive people. Definitely, the IMRS has a definite advantage there. Also, the IMRS goes a little bit higher on the highest setting for localized pain relief and kind of symptomatic relief. The Beamer only goes up to 50 microtesla on the full body mat, where the IMRS goes up to 70 microtesla. And on the local applicators, the Beamer goes up to only 150 with the plus signal, where the IMRS goes up to 300, you know, for, again, for localized pain relief. So the IMRS goes lower and it goes higher. So just a better range of intensities, better range of frequencies, and a, a better variety of waveforms. That gets into point number four, is that the IMRS uses both a sawtooth on the full body mat, which gives you a full spectrum of frequencies and intensities, which is kind of like an energetic multivitamin to resonate with different tissues and cells to energize them, because every cell and every tissue has a slightly different resonant frequency. And that sawtooth is really ideal. And that rapid rise and fall with the sawtooth is going to really help to stimulate energy production and ion transport. And with the square wave, the square wave is great for breaking up cycles of pain uh, for localized pain relief with the applicators. And it's, you know, the NASA study done by Dr. Goodwin showed the, the square wave was the most beneficial signal uh, used for healing and regeneration. Uh, the Beamer signal is a complex sinusoidal, which does, in all fairness, um, get very, it gets very peaked at the highest peak there, but it's still rounded at the top. It's not going to be as much of a rapid rise and fall as the sawtooth of the square wave. And the analogy I like to give people is, imagine trying to start a fire with a piece of flint and a striking stone. What you want to do is you want to strike it abruptly. That's a rapid rise and fall, where a sinusoidal wave would be kind of like rubbing it slowly back and forth. You may get some little tiny sparks, but it's not going to be enough to actually start a fire. So, I mean, I hope that makes sense. I think it's a very applicable analogy here. And again, that rapid rise and fall is really stimulating ion transport. Bassett, way back in the 70s and 80s, found for non-union bone fractures, the sawtooth helped to stimulate osteogenesis or the um, piezoelectric effect with the bone to help produce uh, bone matter. So it's a very proven signal. It's got a rich history going way back to the, to the 70s and 80s. The Beamer signal is, is a relatively newer. Point number five is the IMRS has very tightly wound copper coils in the full body mat, pillow, and probe. No plastic tubing, no spacing in between. And the reason that's so important is that when you've got tightly wound circular coils, 
you're getting a pure B field, a pure magnetic field, and you get a rich layer of harmonics because the signal is very clean. It's kind of like a high fidelity stereo. You're just getting better quality music when you get a high end system. Same goes with using the tightly wound copper because that is kind of like the speaker system of your PEMF unit. That's what's radiating the signal. So Beamer is using the plastic tubing and they're spacing in between consecutive turns and they even use oval geometries which are not ideal in the leg area of the full body mat and also in the B pad. The B spot does use a perfectly circular ring but it's uh, only three turns in the coil. So that's very important. They not have plastic tubing. Also the IMRS full body mat has a graduated intensity which we found from much experience and also there's been research to show this that the head and the neck and the thyroid especially is very sensitive. So having most of the energy at the feet, the middle intensity range at the torso, and the lower intensity at the head really helps you to maximize using the full body mat so you can get the most energy that your body can take without triggering any type of um, reactions with the head and the neck. The IMRS uses uh, 15 turns at the head, 30 turns in the torso, and 45 turns in the feet. The Beamer is using 15 or 17 turns on all three sections. Because there's more turns in the coil on the IMRS, you're also getting a stronger magnetic flux in the torso and the, and the feet versus the Beamer system. As you can see in these images here, you can see the plastic tubing that is surrounding the copper. And the reason that Beamer does that is to make the mat more flexible so that you can just put it on your couch and lay on it. But there's a compromise there. By doing that, you take away from the purity of the signal and the quality of the signal. So the IMRS, you know, because you're only doing the full body mat eight minutes twice a day, uh, you don't really need to have it to where you sit on a fluffy couch. You know, just doing a flat surface, the, the IMRS mat is very comfortable. The nice thing about the pillow pad and probe is you can use those, you know, on a couch or a lazy boy chair or anywhere you want to use them. But the full body mat, you do want to lay on a flat surface with the IMRS. But we chose to keep the purity of the signal. We chose that over the flexibility of the mat. So I think, for me, I would rather have the best possible signal than a little bit of comfort to be able to throw it on my couch. And the B-spot, like I mentioned, uh, does use circular coils, but you can see from the image here, they're only using three turns, so it's a very small little area that's not going to give you all that much of a magnetic flux. Versus the B-pad and the full body mat on the Beamer, at least they're using perfectly wound copper. But if you look at the IMRS probe, there's a, over a hundred turns in the coil around a very powerful ferrous core and the ferrous core helps to magnify the magnetic field. So this is going to give you much better penetration, much better healing effects than the Beamer B-Spot. So the IMRS applicators are just much more powerful. They go to higher intensities for localized symptomatic pain relief. They also go down to lower intensities if you're sensitive. But you can see from these images that they're just quality is just a little step above the Beamer. Reason number six, the IMRS, because of the added frequencies and the different waveforms, you know, the Beamer only uses the Beamer signal on all their applicators. You're going to less likely habituate or plateau or, or acclimate with the IMRS 2000. And this is important because if you're going to use the mat every day and use your system every day, which I do, you want to have a lot of complexity and a lot of variation. Just like working out with weights, you don't want to do the same workout every day. You want to mix it up. Otherwise, you, you plateau. I mean, it's the same thing with, with supplements. You take the su same supplement every day, that take the same drug every day you get diminishing returns over time and you have to start cycling, like taking a week off every now and then. And, but you don't have to do that with the IMRS because there's the switching of the polarity in the signal. You got four different frequencies, two different waveforms, and which we'll talk about in a minute, the I more biofeedback is a big plus to sort of give you a unique session every time, which brings us to point number seven, which is the biofeedback. And this is a huge advantage over not just Beamer, but all other PMF systems on the market is that the IMRS uses a built-in heart rate variability and it just simply measures the, your pulse and, and calculates the heart rate variability, which is the health of your central nervous system. And that is one of the most important parameters of health. I think in the coming years, we're going to see more and more practitioners use heart rate variability based on the pioneering research of heart math. You know, they've done a lot of great stuff and I'm going to do a future video on heart rate variability, but just for now, know that, the, that this biofeedback will give you a unique session every time, so it's going to adjust the intensity in the full body mat to give you what your body needs, exactly what your body needs. With the Beamer, and you can see from this chart here, they just use cookie cutter protocols that are supposed to be good for everybody, but everybody's different, you know. 
a sick elderly person is certainly a lot different than a professional athlete. So this biofeedback will definitely give you exactly what you need, regardless of your health or your, your age or your situation. The next point is that both the Beamer and the IMRS have LED systems. The Beamer has the B-Light, the IMRS has the ISLRS. The thing I like about the ISLRS is that it's, it's integrated with the PEMF, you know, the frequencies in the bioural beats and the, and the flickering LEDs to synchronize both hemispheres of the brain gives you like a spa-like experience. It's sort of like meditating. You get really balanced, you know, where both hemispheres of the brain are kind of synced up and it, it's, it's a very peaceful sensation. The Beamer doesn't have that, but they do have an LED system for local LED therapeutic application. And in my opinion, looking at the B-Light, it's, you know, it's a pretty good LED system, but there are companies that specialize in LED therapy, you know, like the, like the Warp 10, even a more professional model, and the Lumen Photon, and, and there's some others that I just think have much higher quality LEDs. And if you want to use LED therapy with any PMF mat, you, you can just buy a, a really proven LED system and just use it in conjunction. So the B-Light, to me, is not a big advantage of the Beamer because you can buy better LED systems for cheaper and just use them with any PMF device. Point number nine, and this is also a big point, is that the IMRS has the iGUIDE database of 284 protocols. This is great because you can look up your specific condition for the pillow pad and probe or the full body mat if you don't have the eye more and get exactly the protocol you need based on 10 years of clinical data in a German clinical setting. Again, the Beamer just has their basic chart that's in their getting started manual. And it's the same sort of template for everybody, but everybody's different. So this is another huge advantage of the IMRS. In fact, you not only get the protocols for 284 conditions, but you get them for each organ clock setting or biorhythm clock setting and for each applicator. So that's over 3,400 protocols and it's very easy to use. You just look up your condition and you select the applicator and press start. Finally, the last point, and this is a very important point, is that the IMRS is a better price. I do think it's a better system having used them both. And in fact, I've used both the, the previous generation Beamer 3000 and their newer Beamer Classic. And, and I've used the older MRS 2000 and the new IMRS. And honestly, they both seem kind of comparable. And in both cases, the, the MRS 2000 beat the Beamer 3000. And I really think that the IMRS... 2000 beats the, the Beamer Classic or Beamer Pro. And when you compare comparable systems, you're also saving, for example, the WellFit system with the IMRS, which gives you control unit, full body mat, and pillow, is 3575. With the Beamer, it's 4290 to get their Classic system, which also has control unit, B spot, and full body mat. So again, comparing comparable systems, you're saving $715. With the Beamer Pro system, which is $59.90, and you compare component to component with the IMRS, which is the complete plus the ISLRS, just to give it, you're only spending $50.13.90. So you actually save around $976. Again, comparing comparable systems, apples to apples. You know, we're, we're, I'm just matching applicator to applicator, so we're looking at comparable systems. On average, you're, you're, you're saving about $800 and... You know, the IMRS always has promotions going on, so you, in those cases, you'd save even more. So in conclusion, I think these are two, the two best units on the market. And when you take all the MLM marketing hype and a lot of this, you know, there's a lot of things that reps will say, and just stick with the numbers, stick with the facts. The IMRS has a better range of frequencies, has a better range of intensities, has four frequency settings with the biorhythm clock, has more proven waveforms than Beamer, and it has two versus one, has better coils and stronger intensities and stronger magnetic fluxes in those coils, you're less likely to get habituated or acclimated to the IMRS versus the Beamer. I think it's the LED system with the IMRS is better than the Beamer, um, the having the light and sound. The biofeedback is a huge advantage. You know, Beamer does not have any biofeedback. And the iGUIDE database of 284 protocols and the IMRS is a better price than Beamer on all comparable